Oh my god, this man has skill and technique with this cooking stuff. Like, look how big this kitty is compared to me. Can we all be, like, honest here? Look at him! This man is a feral cat. <laughs> feral with a capital F. He looks like he would be in parole right now. But that the next second, he probably isn't because he probably dealt with his officer early on. Oh god, he's... <laughs> as soon as I said that, he's, he's like, What? What? You'll be next if you don't get the freak away from my kitchen. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to intrude on your, uh, your crafts. That steak looks really nice, too. Especially though the fact that I can't eat it in real life, but in-game in it's a different story. But yeah, that all this looks pretty darn good, Mr. Kitty. Like... <laughs> This man looks like he could eat me. I'm not gonna lie. Compared to Joey, Joey is a dumbbell to him. Actually, I wouldn't even consider it a dumbbell. He's probably even lighter. <laughs> probably a freaking marble to him, maybe. <laughs> I'm sorry for getting on you, Joey. Let's leave him alone, leave him to his craft, so we should probably get going. Hello, you lovely people. Is your wonderful Grim Reaper here? Attack. Look at the camera, please. Bring you guys a... Uh... <laughs> Special monster, another monster in video. As you guys know from last episode, we uh, we killed off Anjanath pretty easily. I'm proud of that. And then the next second, we tried to capture um, the Lava Zora Magdaros. But the next thing you know, it escaped because it had the help of a spiky boy that freakishly slaughtered me. And we're hoping to get stronger by then to, so our next encounter we could slaughter him. But by then, um, for right now, we're just doing some light work. All you guys need to know is we're about to hunt down a very special creature to me. And we're definitely going to need it because of future hunts in case of certain negative stuff. But I hope you guys are enjoying the series I give you. You already know what to do. Just get a knife or pencil, pen, anything sharp, anything nice and handy. And stab, and stab that big red button. That's all you need to do. Let's just get this hunt started. All right. Let's see what we got. Hello, unblinking wench. How are you? <laughs> and you guys already know the drill. So, yeah. <laughs> she just appears right behind me? Nah, die! No talking. Just run these hands. That's all I want. Claws, I mean. Sorry. Or tail, because you do also use your tail. You use pretty much everything, just like how I'm using a really sharp and big weapon to hack and slash you. I'm not gonna lie, I was actually trying to search for it because I'm just thinking like, isn't there a cutscene for this creature? Nah, she just appears out of nowhere, just right behind me. Well, oh well. This is where you. This is where your uh, fate ends here, um, Miss Raytheon. I'm sorry, but Raytheon looks so good, but she's gonna look even better in. As a carpet. Now I think about it, would anyone really want skin I mean scaly carpet? That does sound pretty badass actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Like making army out of these things is like one thing, but let's be honest, if you make like a utensil or something out of these things, that does sound kinda neat. I don't know why I always come up with like random things of what to make out of these monsters. First I want to eat them and then I was like I want to make these things it's like I don't know like a cup holder or something. First bought this month. Oh God! Yo, hold up. 
Ho hold up for a minute. That did a lot of damage. Wait, please. Let's work something out. We can work a deal. Haha. <laughs> Tricked you, fool. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I gotta stop. Like, I feel like my energy is definitely changing with that. But, like, yeah, I remember when I first fought Rapian. It was such an interesting monster to me. I don't know. Like, not in this game, in older games. Like, in older games, I was like, yo, it's a freaking dragon. Like, that's so cool. Next thing you know, it's just like, oh, there's a red version of it. Even better. And then when I learned the truth, oh, it's near death. Okay. I didn't think we were going to kill it so soon, but yeah, let's take that. Now, get back here. But yeah, like, as soon as I saw Raytheon, I was just like, yo, this monster is gnarly. I like the design and the aesthetic of this thing. And then when I get stabbed by its poisonous tail, I think my mind has changed as soon as it's the combination of that combined with fire. <laughs> like, I don't, like, death is like a blessing, but... It, only it when I deal it, not when something else di dishes it at me, you know? What do you think it's streaming? Probably meat. <laughs> that could be taken in more ways than one. I should probably rephrase that answer. It's probably think of eating me, I guess? Since I was the last thing it saw? Maybe? I don't know. Like, I'm just throwing out some guesses here, people. You cannot blame me. But... I love you. Sadly, I gotta kill you though. I need your arm. I need your skin for armor. Oh, so we're doing this now. No. Bad Raytheon. But yeah, like, seeing her is just like such a lovely thing. Now that I think about it. Especially that it's like my first time seeing her was in like 4, and I was like super lost in that game. <laughs> like, I was majorly lost in Monster Hunter games. I'm not gonna lie. I think World, it helped me under. When I played World for the first time and someone actually helped me out with understanding it. I actually felt way better, you know? And oh! You died! I feel like I'm speedrunning these monsters. Like, I feel bad for the monsters than for me, you know? I'm doing this with leather armor. I, you know what? Wait, I shouldn't be talking all this smack because it's just low rank right now. I'm just gonna wait until I get to high rank, and then we'll start talking. We'll start spitting as soon as things go in the left field. No, oh god, that's gonna be a painful adventure. Oh no. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, Froddy is just wondering what the frick is going on, because we just jump cut from a Raytheon fight to this. Um, so we are investigating what the heck the, <laughs> the Magnaros did, and it looks like it's been doing a lot. Hey girl, what's good? <laughs> Gentle fourth. <laughs> oh gosh, she's up ahead. Jesus, slow down. I only moved a couple feet just to talk to someone. Sure as heck ain't getting her number because the time period of this, there is no cell phones. But then we are in the same group, so... Hey, series handler, hi! Better handler. <laughs> yeah, I did not forget. I absolutely love series handler more than a normal handler because she doesn't get herself into dangerous situations. Like, look at her! She's going up ahead and she knows she doesn't have a weapon or any way of defending herself. She's lucky that I'm backing her up. <laughs> nah, screw you. 
You're not being careful, so I'm sure as hell ain't. If anyone's gonna be the death of me, it's going to be myself. Me, myself, and I. Why do I feel like I'm going through a graveyard of rocks? Yep, the Coral Highlands. God, I love this area. It's like we're underwater, but then at the next second, it's like all on land. That is so freakishly cool. This is the stuff I miss. Oh my god, dude. Like, think about it for a minute. You had cool areas like these in this game, and next thing you know, it's like... Let's just bring it back to older Monster Hunter style in the newer game. They're lucky I have the favorite map being like the, um, the monster area. I, uh, wait, no. <laughs> that is not being specific, Tech. Hold up. How about this? Horror, old school horror movie Castlevania area, let's just say. There we go. That makes way more sense now. <laughs> I had to rephrase that for a minute and we almost died. Okay. Like, proof stake right there, folks. Okay. Well... We made it to the next area, <laughs> the researcher's base. I love the style of this area. And I love how we're just wide awake now. I don't know where we are. So were we just sleeping on the floor right here instead of like, you know, placed in like a bed somewhere around here? That seems kind of weird, but okay. Hey. <laughs> Next goal, flirt with every person I see. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> well, we gotta have no choice in the matter right now. Hi, Grandma. Oh, we're finally getting charms now. Okay, that's a good sign right there. Jesus Christ. We're going to need as much stuff as we can get to survive through this mad this world we call madness, okay? Uh See? Yes. I am sorry, but this area is just so cool. Like this is the type of stuff I miss, like, of the land. Just... Widespread stuff like this is what makes this game so beautiful. Now let's capture some wildlife. <laughs> We're poachers now. <laughs> what, you thought I was gonna be... You thought I was gonna be nice about it? Nah, this is us. You know, I was so ready to kill those things. Shemos, I believe that's what they're called. They're kind of adorable when you look at them. My eyes! <laughs> God, he flashbangs me! Okay, sure. <laughs> so, everyone, meet Teepsie. The flashbang monster. That person you don't want to run in the streets kind of monster. <laughs> yeah, he's annoying. I'm gonna be honest. Last I remember, he is one of, like, the, the dino monsters that do not work. <laughs> For me, at least. 
because at least I enjoyed certain other dino monsters. Like Velocidrome. <laughs> or Snowy Velocidrome. <laughs> To be honest, there were not many creative, like, monster, <laughs> like, alternative dino monsters. <laughs> All of them were pretty much the same, just had different abilities and or fighting style, slightly different fighting styles. But one thing's for sure, you're gonna die, motherfucker. <laughs> mm. Oh my god! How fast can we kill him, actually? Mm. I want to see this. Hold up. Mm. You already broke its dumb flash light. Mm. Let's break it again. <laughs> Time to die. <laughs> I just heard a chicken voice. This is my prey. None of yours. Die. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> he straight up died. <laughs> Y'all want some of this? <laughs> This is my prey! My meat! <laughs> At this point, I'm just slaughtering for the slaughter. This is beautiful! Look at this! My prey! Finding a lot of um, points right now. <laughs> slaughtered that poor. Yeah. We slaughtered that poor monster, <laughs> along with a few others. I'm not gonna lie. I do not remember it being that weak. I think it's just that I'm so used to this game. <laughs> That's it. Aw, do I have to return? Like we just got good to the slaughter, you know. But if you say so. <laughs> I do not feel no remorse at all. I love how the conversation just starts with multiple dots. Like she's about to, she's about to nag me for something. Like, what the hell did you just do out there? <laughs> like I heard like a huge commotion and death, death. Like what the hell did you do? And it's like, I did absolutely what I was told. Just hunt. <laughs> and oh my god, I'm just now realizing her toes. Like, I am just now realizing her feet are literally monster feet. What the frick? Like, I know what... Like, I know that they usually wear, like, shoes that make them look like deer feet. But that the next second, it's like... I've never... now. <laughs> how am I now realizing this? She has literal monster feet. <laughs> The amount of rule 34 going on right the amount of rule 34 of that I, I haven't even seen or noticed it and hey I'm little what's good <laughs> or leader sorry if I was upsetting your toes <laughs> the things can literally scratch out someone's eyes oh we got the glider now nice it's not like I'll ever use it right now in this game ever you know like Come on. Ah, that was a good workout. And there we have it, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. <laughs> Sorry if I had to cut this one on short notice. If this does feel short, I don't know. Like, to be honest, these episodes really don't feel short to me because they do actually take about an hour or two to do in actual time <laughs> because of the fact that, like, I am actually, like, um... Uh, playing through a hunt that literally takes like 13 to 10 minutes but whatever we can ignore all that like i said i hope you guys are enjoying the series you already know what to do and oh my god joey like 
Do you see how beat up my weapon is? <laughs> this thing looks like it's been through wars. <sighs> but whatever. It's going to go through even more troubles in the future. Just like me. Just like me. Oh god, what did I got myself into? Whatever. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed, you lovely people. Take care. Tech out. Johnny! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, looking at Joey's make me think of those weird goblin or weird troll looking creatures from horror movies that hangs out with like the sci the mad scientists. I'm just now thinking about that. <laughs> no wonder he was so comfortable with murder. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Take care.